Hello and welcome to the Nokia Open 2022, sixth stop of the PDGA Euro Tour here in beautiful Nokia, Finland. This tournament is presented by ProDiscus and this coverage brought to you by MDG Media. Today we're covering round two front nine of the MPO division. I'm Maxim Tons, pleasure to be there. Pleasure to have you. I think with conditions being slightly friendlier than round one, 25 degrees Celsius, but only eight to 16 kilometer an hour winds, we have a warmer day, less windy. I think we'll see some players really get some low scores on these scorecards. Yeah, the weather forecast is definitely more comfortable today. As we move into our lead card here, we have joining us Rasmus Saukoripi, 987 rated out of Finland. We saw a good showing by him recently on the and there you have the one and only Lauri Lettinen coming from Finland, just coming back from the States, now in Europe to play some disc golf on the European scene. Also joining us we have Juho Kovanen, 940 rated, also from Finland. Excited to see his game. And last on the card we will have Samuel Henninen, also coming from Finland, full Finnish players card here, 1006 rated player. Let's see how it's going to go. As we take a look at this field, you see our lead card in first and second positions respectively. Christian Kuoksa also tied at negative four. Uh, and a slew of players tied for six at three under. It's pretty excited to see how we go pretty today. Pretty tight on the top so far. And let's move to hole one. Beautiful hole one. Par three, 115 meters. You see this early Mando forcing you to go down this tunnel with the fence on the left, OB on all sides. Our players are trying to throw a low straight shot underneath the branches, dodge all the trees and have a nice controlled stop on this slightly downward sloping green. A great hole to get us started. Definitely, definitely care about the short grass and the skips. Let's go. Uh, we see Rasmus up first. The Saukoripi. That one. A beautiful flex line flying right down the fairway. Great shot, man. Great way to start the round. He looks to be edge of circle, maybe closer. Lowry up next. With a mid range in his hands. A bit high, but keep going. Okay, shoot, okay. He does contend, you'll see those OB stakes come a little bit off the fence there. You can't go all the way and he sneaks himself OB, Yuho now. Okay, turn over Also shot. looking for a bit of a flexy line, but turning it over a bit too much, I think, and he does cut roll. Can he keep it safe? We'll have to find out. Yeah. Waiting for the next one. And Samuel on the teapad, flexing a bit. Not coming back. Should be okay in the middle of the fairway. No OB. Just to show you uh, how nice Resmus's throw was there. Straight the whole way. None of our other competitors getting that long flight. Yeah, great shot from Rasmus. Low line. Flexing it. Beautiful shot. And Yuho was not OB then. The cut roll just brought him back into the fairway. As we see Samuel there with his approach right underneath the basket. Yeah, slow start, taking the par. E I think these competitors will be okay taking a three here, no damage done. Move on with their round, but Rasmus here with a fantastic birdie look. We'll see if he can capitalize. Ah, a bit low. Just, just not getting enough power. Yeah, catching the cage. Tiny bit short. Good try, good try. And Lauritz save the bogey here. Comfortable. He does what he needs to do after going OB on his first. Gets himself up there and makes the putt. We'll see our other competitors now tap their par putts in. Easy pars. 
and confirm the weather is definitely better today sun is shining and not too many wind not too much wind as we can see here going to hole two beautiful par 3 101 meters as you see this sloping fairway all the way down steeply right to left backhand players watch out if you're right-handed hopefully you can fight through this long slope and nestle yourself up on this slightly flatter green as you approach this 100 meters any skip and any flare may throw you long let's see the control yeah should be some mid-ranges or better shot here should be the plan Okay, mid-range, forehand shot for Erasmus. Looking for some over-stability, he takes it down. The left side Stay. of the hill flares right, mm. but there's that long roll oh, wow. on ground play. As that thing just disappears into the brush. Uh, as usual on this hole. Great shot, though. Unfortunate. He did manage to stay safe. Yeah. Yuho, late release here. Okay, it's gonna be a kind of a scramble for him. It's open space to go to the basket, but not easy with the slope. Samuel now, throwing straight down the middle of the oh, fairway, word. flipping it up to flat. Beautiful shot. A slight glide along the floor there, but he's well positioned for his birdie putt. Lowry now. Going for the forehand. Okay, going high on the right. He's going to be interesting on the green for Lauri. Definitely leaving himself with a dangerous putt downhill, but I do like playing that hillside a bit, knowing that you will funnel left. He sends it a bit right, perhaps more than he wanted, but I do think it's wise to land above the green rather than... To avoid the, the roll. Yuho now. Exactly. A bit low for Yuho. Getting Bit of ground play though. I think he has a long putt. We'll see now. Stay there. Comfortable. Good up shot. Scary green, as you could see there. Yeah. I believe this is Erasmus from downtown for his birdie. Wow. Oh, fires one pass. Great try. He was like 30 meters uphill putt. Good power. Ori caches the birdie with his long downhill putt. If he were to miss that, he is long gone. So a really fantastic display of focus and accuracy on that nice putt. But that's a way to get back his stroke on hole one. Beautiful shot. Right in the heart. And dead center, great height. Beautiful shot. Samuel now. Third. Ah. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, no. The green playing more tricks on our lead card here as he ends up much further away than where he started. We still he see his disc moving. We'll see if he can recover from this long look. Good attempt. And now you stay there. Unfortunate roll. Really important to... In that yeah. End. Confidence. It, it really does. And not just chains, but hitting enough metal to either sit down or go yep. in. You see a lot of these competitors get basket, and off you go. Okay, so beautiful As we birdie. have one birdie, one par, yep. and two bogeys. Tough, tough hole. hole. Tough green. Moving into hole three here. Par three, 95 meters. You see you have this nice straight gap. You have OB on the far right, but it's unlikely to come... These right-handed competitors will likely flip something up to flat through the first gap, then the second here between these two trees. And if you're lucky, a little bit of skip and glide up to the green. Yes, definitely. Again, a straight shot to the basket. Mid-range, butter are in the story on this one. Let's see how they go. Lauri on the tee. Catch angle. Looks good, a bit high. Mm. You can see he just misses that second gap by 
few inches and ends up short. The flight really can't go too far left or right off the tee if you want to make it all the way. Okay, looks really nice. As Rasmus turns one over, gets that glide, that bit of ground play that we mentioned. He'll be maybe early circle two, edge of circle one for his birdie putt. Yeah, good uphill, good uphill putt for Rasmus, comfortable. Yuha now to bounce back from his bogey on the last hole, unfortunately. Early release and he kicks left off a tree. He'll definitely have some work to do to get his way to the green for his part. Yeah, definitely. Taking a tree as early as he just did is uh, definitely a scramble mode activated. And Nina now, he has shown us that flip up straight shot already. Can he do it again? Just missing that last gap as well. Yeah, that was a good line. Look to have kicked left. That was looking very nice. Definitely. A bit too much on the left. We see Yuho up first, his approach. Catching an early bush may hise her out a little bit early, but gets all the distance to go up and over the basket. He'll have an obstructed par putt. Nice up shot. Nice up shot. He will have a possibility to save the par. Great approach from Lauri. Very casual forehand by him. Samuel now. He's hunting the birdie, it looks like. Stop there. It listened. <laughs> Rasmus now. Or his two. On C2. Mm. Okay, nice try. Tricky one. Just, just fading right. Uphill, long putt. This uh, sloping green with the mulch does allow you to go a little bit aggressive on your approach and try to put it really close. As Samuel unfortunately hits heavy chains and goes out left. We'll see if Yuho now can get his par putt in. Okay. Also just a bit low. Thank you to the tree. Comfortable par. Resonance takes his three. Exactly. And Lowry for his three. In the cam. Easy. Nice. It looks super chill, <laughs> that start of the round. He does seem very relaxed. All of his throws and putts coming out very confidently. As we see Yuho take his bogey there after an early kick left, unable to put himself close enough on his approach. And Samuel as well, having a bit of woes on the putting green. We move on to beautiful par for hole four, 175 meters through the woods. You will see here gap after gap after gap, as these players will need to crest this slight incline in the beginning, hopefully fading out left as we have this long, slow curving fairway. And miss the trees, easier said than done on this uh, heavily wooded course, but as we end up downsloping to the right towards the green, the basket in a very precarious place as always in Nokia, Finland. Really, you need a fantastic perfect straight shot on the first and a very touchy soft second for your birdie. Yeah, for your birdie approach again. Be careful not to be long. There is that void behind the basket. You can easily go downhill there. Oh, it looks beautiful. Lowry up first. Can he get through cleanly? Almost. Still gets a ton of distance. Yeah, really nice shot. Catching the last trees, but pretty nice shot there. Rasmus, with something on a little more hyzer angle, tries to fight that slope. Gets his way up there as well. Nice throw by him to be well within the fairway. Yuho now. Ah, not looking, <laughs> not looking super comfortable. Do you think he was trying to intentionally play the skip no, shot there? No. We have seen it in round one from another competitor. Nah, definitely not. He looks to be a bit, you know, not perfectly comfortable on his drive, driving game so far. Maybe the pressure of uh, the leader card. 
Samuel as well, seeming to have some struggles there. Hitting an early tree, we'll see him up first for his second. I think he's in par save mode now. Did he try the roller there? We won't know. Turnover angle, we'll have to see. And Yuho. Yuho for his second. Trying to get the gap pretty nice. Going forward. And helpful roll here. It should be okay. Rasmus slightly higher up the hill. He should have more of a hyzer shape to hit. And with that sloping, treacherous green, we'll see how soft he gives that bid. That's a great shot. Beautiful. Great shot. He'll definitely have edge of circle birdie putt. Loving it. Rasmus, our only lead card player to be bogey free on this round two front nine so far. Very nice by him to avoid the damage of these tricky holes. Lowry now on his approach. The drive was really nice. A bit short. Okay, that's a chance. Similar to Rasmus, maybe slightly further away, but I think he'll have that hillside be slightly less involved exactly. for his backhand putt. Comfortable position. And Henina now. Looks super touchy. Wow. Beautiful shot. Just floating that putter in there, sitting it down. Very nice. A great shot from Samuel here. To save the par, if I don't mistake. Yuho with the downhill putt. Just laying up. Good choice, wise. I would agree. Says I want no part of that. We'll see Lowry now for his birdie putt. Come on, first important one. Oh, bit late. Man, and that's gonna be a tester. See Rasmus now, I think he'll want this one despite the hill almost. Just have a good lateral angle to it. Ah. Oh. As he fires his putt off, catches heavy chains, and sits down right next to the basket. Lowry for his par. Great save. Looked like he still left himself some distance. That is a great save. Yeah, that, that was a tester. Nice nice for him to make it. Good to go on the next ones. Samuel. Samuel as well. Bringing out a very strong hat game here today to this lead card. Perhaps had a word with Daniel. Yeah. Matching the style. Hole number five, par three, 67 meters. A shorter hole, but definitely still tricky. This little uphill shot, you need to battle your way up the hill, settle it right on top without going long, deep, left or right. I think all of our lead card players will want the birdie here. Yeah, just going straight, catching to, 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 go, on, to go on that hill, to slide to the basket. It's pretty nice. Everybody once on the course going over stable. See Lowry up first. That looks perfect. Don't roll away. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be a comfortable birdie. That's how it's done, folks. Rasmus now. Looking to match. Slightly more inside. An unfortunate. Slightly steeper part of the hill doesn't get the same skip, but looks to be well placed. And we we never know how the disc can react on that part of the hill. There is some some trees. Okay, looks perfect from Yuho. Really nice, nice drive. It, Not the best ground play. I would agree. He had a fantastic shot there, but slid a, a few meters away from the basket. Samuel now. With a very inside line, can he fight up that hill? Seems to have come a little bit short, but... Yeah, short and tight. Kind of an early release. Early look. From C2, maybe. Okay, uphill. Oh! Hey -oh. Okay. Cashes it from the woods. His first birdie of this round. Rasmus now. Takes his two as well. Good, good, good. Back in business. Yuho for his first birdie of the round.
Very nicely done by and him. And there we have our the tournament. Great job from the group. Taking the birdie. That's Lowry with the super tap in birdie. Yeah, pretty comfortable for him on this one. Some lead card caliber play right there. We move on to hole six, par four, 201 meters. We have this long straight left to right shape as our players need to battle through all of these trees, branches, as well as the sloping fairway. You hopefully crest that first hill, have a bit of ground play for a tricky approach to this guy. Basket gonna need two good shots to position yourself close to. Definitely, just take care of the slope on the second on the second shot. Trying to get the first tight gap, going straight as deep as you can to have an open look to the basket. And here we have some spectators waiting for the players. Lowry up first. Oh, snapping the disc, beautiful. Looks good, don't catch anything. Oh great, it's okay. Really nice. Huge drive from Lowry there. Even connecting to the tree, that should be more than enough distance to have a good second approach shot. Rasmus now with the forehand line. Bit late. Stop. Should be okay. Maybe, maybe a bit too much on the left. There will be a lot of trees. Be you ho now. Also looking to turn one over softly, but connects with a tree along his way. Samuel. For the turnover, as usual. And we didn't mention it, there is OB really far to the right, but with this natural hyzer shape on the sloping fairway, you would have to take it really wide to be in danger of that. All four of our competitors keeping it well within the fairway. Yuho on his second, mm. not quite getting the distance. You can see every gap there is a disc size and width, so definitely a tricky one. And just to mention it fast, but the drive from Samuel was amazing. Even better than Lauri's. Beautiful shot. And great recovery from Rasmus here. Should be an easy tap in par. And there you have the open look. It's Lowry. Also looked for that forehand shape. Battles the hillside. Oh. Works his way well up there. That one tree stopping him from being absolutely parked. But he is still very close for his birdie putt. Amazing shot again. Samuel really is in perfect placement off his first, as you mentioned, oh. but unable to capitalize hitting one of the earliest guardian trees to the green. Yuho still with some work to do, maybe a slight slip on that gravel and catch tree of this fairway. Yeah, trees wall in front of him. That's a problem of being a bit too much on the left of it. As he's so far left, he's throwing what looks to be a hyzer shape almost to the green. Sits himself a bit downhill, he'll have a long uphill look to the basket. Yeah, to save a bogey. Finally out of those trees. To only save a bogey, it's gonna be hard on this one. Dropping some strokes. Catching some branches here, but okay, it's gonna be a par. Samuel for his birdie. Looked a bit late at the release, but okay. May have just been a layup by him, not wanting to contend with that hillside. Yeah, exactly. Yuho now for bogey. Hmm. Okay, so... Unfortunately, off to the right for him. It's gonna be a double here. Not the best way to start for Yuho, but okay. But Lowry putting in his... Really fantastic three by him. Yeah, good start for, from Lauri after the bogey on hole one. Really nice. And that is the mark of these high caliber professional players is their ability to bounce back mentally after a tricky start. They don't let it get to them and they just execute every throw on its own. Well done by them. Yeah, hole by hole. As we see you hope. With the double bogey. Unfortunate now. But... 
looming large, this par 5 comes in at 271 meters. With that early Mando pole, you're forced to play to the left, no huge hyzers over the road and tree line. And with Obi close on the left and right, you have to keep it very center of the fairway. A really good second throw will come just over this pathway here and set themselves up for a third shot approaching the green, but watch out, Obi on all sides. You will need a good degree of touch coming in to this little hillside here. Think a backhand hyzer left shot leading up to the green, but you'll see with that slope directly behind, anything deep is almost surely going to go OB. Yeah, game plan is definitely a safe shot on the on the tee and then going for it on the second. Easier to handle the OB for all these players on the second shot. The forehand shape, very comfortable for these players to stay within the fairway. Taking the Mando completely out of play. Nice placement by La. Rasmus now. Bit wide. Careful. Oh, should be okay. You can see the OB coming in very tight in a few areas. It narrows the further up you get. Samuel now with the big backhand turnover line. Love it. Oh. Just a ton of distance right in the fairway. Confidence shown here. Beautiful shot. Yuho also opting for that backhand turnover line. Okay, safe one, but uh, in the middle of the fairway, it's the plan. And what a shot from Samuel. Super far. Come on. Yuho now to bounce back from his double bogey on the last hole. Low to the ground. A lot of heat. Seems to have put himself up by that road. Rasmus now on his second. Maybe looking to go big. Come on, take. Ooh. Super overstable disc. Heiser release. Does Heiser out. Oh. oh, but a tree looked to kick him back into the fairway. He should be safe after what looked like a very dangerous release out of the hand. I think he'll be happy with that. Grateful about this one. Lowry now. Great position for Lowry. As he has a Get nice back. straight long shot, Get can back. he fade it back in? Beautiful. He absolutely does. Really nice shot. Confidence. Samuel with a huge drive here. Oh, he... Really great placement. He looks to be going up. super high and wide. We'll see how far left he ends up. Where is it? Okay, 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 we'll okay. Yeah, out. he's just uh, you know at the the tennis tennis uh, round level. He's gonna have an approach around 40, 45 meters from the basket. Yuho's third now. We'll see if he, he does look to be wanting to make his way to the green with a huge hyzer throw. Did he make it? Not sure. Sounded like he caught a tree on the way. We'll see how much he has left to save his par. Rasmus now. Going low. Avoid that tree. And not too long now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Rasmus, one with the trees, just helping touches all over, it's... doing the work for him. Rasmus is parked for his birdie. Oh yeah, tree love on this hole for him. Take it, it's important. Nice approach from Lauri, a bit short. You see Samuel there with a jump putt to pitch up. Yeah, playing super fast. Nicely done by him to get so much distance, though, that his third can simply be a jump putt. Yuho leaving himself a little bit short, but definitely within the circle. Oh, beautiful one. Lowry now, putting first. Come on. Oh! Birdie by him. Birdie train. Super. Three in a row. Three in a yeah. row? Really nice. <laughs> Happy about it.
As he gets the bump from Rasmus, we see Yuho now up to his putt. Nice save. Nice par save by Yuho. Really struggling on that last hole, bringing himself back to par. Hopefully he can put some more strokes on the scoreboard now. Four strokes as we see Samuel. Really nicely done. Huge throw off the tee. Good second. Simple third. Makes the four look easy there. And... Rasmus also tapping in the birdie. Yeah, thankful. A lot of tree love for that man Oh here. yeah, this hole was cool with, with him. Definitely. As we move on to hole 8, par 3, 102 meters. This is a slightly downhill hole. I think we're likely to see a lot of the forehand hyzer shapes, but with a ton of contend with, difficult to make it all the way through without flaring off the end. We'll see what our competitors choose to hit here. Which gap? Yeah, the gap on the left, definitely forehand with all those righties in the group. Be careful with the OB behind the basket with the short grass and the skips. You're absolutely right. That left to right slope, the forehand hyzer could get dangerous very quickly. Lowry catching a few. A bit short within the fairway, though. Rasmus up next. A clean round so far. Sitting at seven down, he's had a fantastic performance. We'll see him line up the forehand hyzer as well. Looks good, looks tight, but... Oh, wow. Great shot. I love it. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. You saw he had the height dialed there just slightly lower than Lowry's and does not connect with those branches on a very similar line. Gets the full ground play. Really nice by Rasmus. Yeah, he's going through this front line really smoothly. Really cool. Not too many mistakes. Samuel. Taking it a bit wide. Yeah, should be okay though. He'll have a long look, I exactly. think. Exactly, a bit downhill, it's a dangerous putt there. But there is less wind than yesterday, so maybe a possibility. Yuho opting for the backhand. Looked to be a putter, likely. Didn't quite get as much turnover as he may have liked, but he'll also have a long downhill look. We'll see if these players choose to contend with that OB long, or if they just want to lay it up. Lowry, eye of the tiger. Okay. Oh, he looked like he wanted it. Gave it a very good bid, keeping it safe. Yeah, not taking too many risks. And Samuel just laying up here. Oh. Yuho, though, with some recent struggles, may want this birdie opportunity. We'll see if he decides to run it. Oh, nice try. Definitely gave it a bid. Oh. Okay, Samuel. So the camera guys told me that he was playing super fast. Not always easy to catch him. Rasmus for his two. Fantastic. Fantastic putt to secure his birdie. Very nice. Three down now in this front nine. And we missed... Rasmus looking very comfortable today. Okay, so you is going now. Save the bar. Short tester for him. Nice. High in the chains, but catching the bar. Pretty nice. Lowry as well. Our Finnish competitor here wearing Swedish colors today. Nice blue and yellow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful jersey there. As we see the overhead view of hole nine. What a Truly hole. a difficult par three. Last hole of our front nine here. We have this par three, 131 meters. You see this fairway narrows to between the trees. With no shortage of OB, you have to hit either a perfect tunnel or hang it out over the right side with the hyzer for our right-handed players to have a look at the birdie. I think a lot of players will be very happy with a three here. Definitely super tricky hole to finish the front nine, going for the hyzer bomb on the right. Rasmus, our leader so far, up first. Okay. Oh, short, OB left. He'll have a long look to save his par. 
and hopefully save his clean front nine. Lowry now. It's hard. If you want to take some risk and to go wide, you, you can just play your OB second shot. See? And everybody is doing Lowry the same. Very unhappy with that, as you see him hides out early. Yeah, same mistake as Rasmus. Like early release just to ensure not to go wide and uh, and never get back to the fairway. Samuel with some of the longest drives so far, opting for more of a placement hyzer, but may have gone bond. into that pond yeah. tree. And also our third member here on this lead card going OB this whole teeth. We'll see if Yuho can make the correction. And same mistake early, maybe catching the tree in the middle to stop the disc. Again, three guys at the exact same spot. Just OB left there. So it's pretty comfortable, you know, the, you, you won't have any any problem to save the bogey here. Maybe having a chance to, to save the par from far. Really demanding hole as we see Lowry up first for his par save. Oh! Wow. Bid by him but cannot connect. We'll see Rasmus give it a go here. Also will be having a bogey there, likely. Samuel with a little forehand. <laughs> Very casual from him. Exactly. Practice practice shot. And you hope. Okay, so yeah. Four bogeys, if I don't mistake. Really troublesome. Do you think it would be fair to consider this hole nearly a par four? Mm, nah, because uh, you you definitely can you know just go to the basket with a uh, with the drive from the tee, but you know he's just so protected by those trees on the right. You know the the hyzer shot is so hard. You need to to make one forty meters hyzer shot to go over the and to be maybe C one after the basket. It's pretty hard. The lefties are really really comfortable on this one. Our whole lead card there, unfortunately catching their bogeys on hole, now, n hole 9. We see Rasmus at 7 under, Lowry close behind him at 6 under, Samuel Henninen at 3 under, and Juho Kovanen with a few struggles, ending at even. Yeah, hard front 9 from Juho. This is gonna be good. Back 9 is coming. Rasmus in As the lead. As we take a look at the field, some competitors have chased Rasmus all the way, tying for that first place slot at seven down. Oni Arminen and Jesse Niminen. Yeah, Jesse Niminen uh, just coming with a hot front nine there. Six down, super performance. That is impressive. We would like to thank you for joining us here today on MDG Media. Thanks for watching. And see you on the back nine.